Hello, everybody, and welcome to Elden Ring. I have a confession to make. I've never played a Souls-like game before. I mean, I've, I've tried it at a friend's house and whatnot. I've never actually sat down and played like a Dark Souls or what's the other one? Bloodborne. That's a Souls-like game, right? I don't know. I've heard that it's amazing. It's uh, supposedly very worth playing. So here I am. I've got some time and I'm ready to jump in and see what it's like. I know it's possible that I may regret this. I don't know how far I'm going to get in it. I just really want to give it a go because I will regret it if I just let this game pass by without ever trying it. As the gamer that I am, I cannot, I simply cannot let that happen. Um, oh my, there are lots of options here. Now see, I've never played any of the other Souls-like games, so I'm assuming there's some sort of consistent pattern with like the types of classes that you can choose. I've got no idea about any of that because I've never played it before. Uh, show attributes. Now whenever I play a game like this, where you can kind of choose your own character skills at the start and whatnot, I always like to build for strength. Brute strength, that is the way I roll. I'm not a big fan of magic. I like um, visceral, brutal, physical combat. So, you know, if someone has like a warhammer or something, all I'm seeing is swords. I mean, yeah, you get a, what's that, a club? Is that like the only blunt option if I choose to go naked? I mean, this guy's got a war axe. A war axe is pretty cool. Uh, strength 16. Is that the highest? It is the highest. The hero. Pretty tempting. I'm guessing faith and arcane is related to magic. You got the best endurance as well. Oh no. Samurai is the best endurance. Samurai ain't my style. So I am gonna choose hero. That's my option. Type A, please. Name. What should I name myself? Name, 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 name. I'm thinking like Vlad. I could go for Vlad. Some alliteration maybe. Vlad, uh, Vlad Vicky Stock. Um, yeah, I'm happy with Vlad Vicky Stock. Uh, let's go with that. Age. Only affects appearance. Let's be young then. Keepsake. Is this just like a little booster thing? Increases maximum HP, I'm guessing, will be the one I go for. Attracts aggression. That doesn't, does, does not sound good. I think I'm just gonna go with the maximum HP. Yeah. Yeah. Base template. Uh, they all look like they have the same sort of body size-ish. Uh, voice? Can I test the voices? Oh, sample. I don't actually get to hear them say anything, I just have to hear them go, Ugh, uh, uh, uh. Let's go young voice too. He's got the best grunts, I reckon. Skin color? How pale can we go? Yeah, maybe not too pale. Oh wow, that's just like... Kratos type shit. Maybe here. Face and hair. Face template. I want someone who looks like he'll fuck shit up. This guy looks like he's seen some shit. Facial aesthetic. Uh, we want full masculine for this build. Sorry, but uh, it's gonna have to be full masculine. Not even slightly tilted on the scale. Thank you very much. The facial structure. Oh god. Um, we want Giga Chad Chin, definitely. Ooh, down low. Make it come out. Okay, okay. I'm liking it. We need that wide jaw. I think I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Look at him. Looks like he can mess some shit up. You got the Nathan Drake hair. You got the... Jamie Lannister haircut. From Game of Thrones. You got the Willy Wonka. The Trevor Phillips. I'm really liking this, to be honest. The Nathan Drake. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Nathan Drake. Hair color? I mean, look. I'm gonna have to go with orange hair. This will have to do, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can actually... Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's the orange that, I, that I'm looking for. Facial hair. Either that or that, I think. I reckon that. Uh, I'm happy with this, I think. Save. Finish, I suppose. No, my luck, I probably chose like the worst class in the game uh, that you could possibly start with. So this, this should be great. The fallen leaves tell a story. Ooh, spooky. The great Elden Ring was shattered. 
shattered. The Elden Ring was shattered, you say? Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering, a war from which no lord arose. A war that's a huge bitch. To abandonment. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all-knowing. Who are all these people again? Are they all the bosses or something? I know Elden Ring has a lot of bosses. And that I do one. know. Is that me? That's me. Look at that nose. To stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. I'm going to become the Elden R Lord. Oh, I'm in? The ring. We can jump. We can dodge with circle. Open. Here I am. Holy shit. That's a big tree. Roll down. I feel like Link from Zelda. Just rolling around. So what do I got when I pause? Oh, you can't pause. That's very good. Inventory. Close. Memory of Grace. That's the thing that I chose to start with, right? That increases my HP. Or oh, I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Crimson Amber. Oh no, this is the thing I chose to start with. Crimson Amber Medallion. Oh, hello there. You are big bitch. Uh, am I to kill you? Oh, I am... I've been hit. I don't even know how to fight yet, bro. Look at me. How do I even block? L1 to block. Can I even block this dude? I doubt it, right? I can block him. That's pretty cool. How do I back it? Oh, I'm dead. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> how do I, like, hold the shield and walk backwards instead of turning? Is that me? Man, I got fucked up. Horsey? Nay, nay, motherfucker. This thing has horns. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. Who are you? One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Mysterious lady. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Listen, they said I was gonna become the Elden Lord. So, that's what I'm here for. Come on, wake up, wakey wakey. Wakey wakey. I'm awake. The flask of crimson tears. Jump down the hole ahead and you'll find the cave of knowledge. There you can learn more about game controls, basic actions, as well as other tips that may be helpful during your adventures in the lands between. The cave of knowledge lies below. Oh, what lies over here? I cannot see. I think the brightness is just not good enough. I guess I can see a bit better now. Barely. What's through here? Is this the way I'm supposed to go? I'm meant to go down there. Is that just the tutorial area? I don't think I need a tutorial, thank you very much. Oh, I'm a professional gamer. I know I've never played a Souls-like game before. Um, I just drank something. That's pretty cool. So that, uh, touch grace. Lost grace discovered. Cool. Use stone sword key. I, do I have a stone sword key? I don't have a stone sword key. All right. Uh, multiplayer. I do not want to play multiplayer. I want to beat the game by myself. Thank you very much. What is this? Elevator? 
Look at that. A magical elevator. Very cool. Through the door I go. Holy shit. Limb grave. Oh, I drank shit again. Why do I feel like roll should be square and not circle? Another grace. What is this shit that I am uh, drinking by accident? I bet it's something that I... something important. Restores HP. There's like a healing potion thing. Who are you? Oh yes. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm? Hmm? Of course you yeah. have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Maidenless. Guidance, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, that's a shame. I would prefer not to die in obscurity, but I guess if fate says that that's the way it's got to be, then that's the way it's got to be. There are animals here. I'm guessing I don't need to eat in this game. Have no reason to kill the animals, right? But where am I supposed to go? That is the other question. Who are you, brother? Oh, you're bad. You're a bad man. You are an unfortunate person that I should not approach. But now I know that. And I shall move in this direction nicely. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you'll just kill me. Not if I roll, though. Oh, you can't hit me when I'm rolling. Isn't that a shame? Church of Ele. Oh, he's following me in here. And I'm dead. Okay, then. I guess. I shall not approach him. Upon dying, you will be revived the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession. If you die again before reclaiming the runes, I'll be lost forever. Okay, fair enough then. Man, this is really the fastest I can move. Man's jogging. Okay, there's that dude again. So I guess I just avoid him at all costs. So these are my runes. I don't know what they do, but they are my runes. Oh, there you go. That's what runes are for. I can spend them to strengthen my armaments. Isn't that cool? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. I think I've seen a clip of this dude before somewhere. Isn't the he the same voice actor for this guy as for sci-fi in Valorant? Where is I everyone think? hiding? I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. That's definitely sci-fi. You should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. A crafting kit, you say? That, 300. How many do I have? Zero? Is that how many I have at the top? Insufficient. Sorry, mate, I'm poor. I'll be back when I'm less poor. Again, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't want to have to spend hours trying to work out how to actually make progress. Oh, the map. There we go. Well, there's no marker telling me where I need to go, but the map seems pretty linear in this northwestern sort of direction. So if that's the only way to go, then I guess that's the only way to go. Who are you, sir? One of the village people. Are you bad? Oh, I think this guy's bad. Are you going to attack me? Like I'm close. Ow! Oh, you're dead. Hello there. Death comes to you. Oh, they're not actually attacking me. But killing them is pretty satisfying. So I may as well. I don't see why not, to be honest. I get free loot. Hello, boss. You're dead. Uh, Vanquishing an enemy group and replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than the maximum amount of hours. Are those the things that I was drinking? Yeah. So I have three of them now. What is that? Ruin fragment. So I can't get up there, can I? I need to go around. What are those things? I don't know what they are. Uh, 
He's squirting some shit. What are you? Die, peasant. Death has come to you. Hello there. Oh, you are looking to fight. That is very unfortunate for you, sir. Oh, you seem to have hit me. However, you are dead. That is a shame. I found some sort of knife thing. Kukri. Throw at enemies to inflict damage and build up onset of blood loss. You're dead, boss. I parried him. I'm guessing this is the way I'm meant to be going. There are more of them over here. What are you, creature? Hello there. And, oh, that's unfortunate. Ow. I am behind. I am here. Hello. Are you going to hit me? Please do. Give it a go. Whoa. Sir. Let me drink one of those healing potions. You're dead. Hello there. Oh, I missed. Peasant. You are peasant. Are you also a peasant? What do you think that horn's gonna do for ya? Few inches later. There's a lot of you. Not a very fair fight, if I do say so myself. Ow. I've been killed. Last sight of Grace visited or stack of Marika? Stack. Okay. So you're telling me now I need to spend like five minutes walking all the way back there. That is very inconvenient. Oh, there's a Grace here. Oh, did these guys all respawn? Hey, boss. There it is again. I'm trying to roll and I drink the flask. Alright, so I shouldn't go into that town because I'm clearly not supposed to. There's too many enemies there. So I will take my runes and I will just skip this part. Bye guys. What's this? Imagery? Grace. Well, I mean, if there's a grace there... I may as well try and kill a few of these guys, just for the fun. How do I break his block? That's something that I would like to know. Oh wait, I can just... Okay. I can just dodge into his attack, and he can't hit me. I'll take it. I can jump into his spear, and avoid the damage from it. Seems a bit cheesed, but I'll take it. Why would I ever dodge in any other direction other than into you? They're pounding on me, they're pounding on me, they're pounding on me. Have a drink. Dodge into him. Hit him. Kill him. Dodge into him. Hit him. Kill him. Hit him again. Dead. Now, let me try the whole crouching thing and see how effective that is. Can you even sneak up on people in this game? Yes, you can. Boom! I'm wiping them out. There's the big boy. Who should I murder next? If I touch the grace now, will that save my progress? That I've just killed these guys here? Or does it not matter? Rest? At sight of grace? What does this do? Is this like a save? Hello there, mysterious woman. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. Greetings. I am Melina. Melina. Hello, Melina. You're a busted I eye. Offer you an accord. 
an accord. Could you repeat that the one in Lord English, of please? The finger maidens. The finger maidens. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, okay. I am afraid, are maidenless. I'm afraid so. I can play the role of maiden. Okay. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search. I mean, I won't say no. Melina. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd tree. Sure. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral steed whistle. Use it. To traverse great distances. Is that for a horsey? Torrent has chosen you. Torrent. Treat him with respect. Is that my horse? All right. Let's increase my. Should just increase my strength? Yes. I'm happy with that. And let's leave. I guess. Horseback riding. Use spectral seed whistle to summon your horse. If spectral seed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of green materials. You can dismount by using the whistle again. That by pressing L. I really want to see if I can eliminate all of these people. You're dead. You're dead. Who else wants to die? I will gladly take your life. Your life has been taken. Oh my god, what are you? Ow! Uh, wrong button! Wrong button! What's that? They're gonna be bleeding or some shit? Ow! How many of you are there? Come on. Ah, uh, can you fight each other please? And not just focus on me? That would be nice. They're just gonna focus on me, aren't they? That is very unfortunate. I don't think I can do much about this. Come on then. Uh oh. Okay, you're dead. Dodge into him and kill him. That's the strat. Got no heals left. Oh yeah, I do. Cool. I thought I was out. Okay, there's the big boy. And there's... Small boy, but he has a horn. If I kill small boy with the horn... Then... Is big boy the only one left? I think he might be. Ah, there's another boy right there. Great. Dodge into him. Hit him a bit. Get away. Dodge into him. Hit him a bit. Get away. Okay. That time I dodged into him and I died anyway. Now I need to get my runes back. Okay, get my runes back and then I'll leave. Thank you. Come again. What is in this direction? Oh, they're shooting shit at me. Excuse? What the fuck is that thing? Bro? Am I just meant to get around him? I mean... Oh my god. You, sir, are quick. Ow. That one hit me in the face. Can I even get past this? I can. Cool. Dodge past the big man. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. He's going to go for a hit. And I'm going to dodge. Get a quick healing. We've got a horn. And there's a bunch of boys here. 
Oh my god, they're quick. They're quick. Keep on going. Keep on going. He hasn't stopped me yet. He won't stop me now. Ow. Okay. I see how it is. Are you gonna leave me alone now? All right. See you later. Oh my god. There's always something. There's always something. There's always something. What do I do about you? Dodge into you. Ow. Ow. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh. The game crashed? Um... That is unfortunate. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, you know what? Uh, I've been recording for a decent amount anyway. So, oh, I dropped something. Uh, I'm gonna call it there. I will definitely come back to it and continue from where I left off. So far, the game is obviously difficult for lots, lots of different reasons. It also feels like it can definitely get very tedious with the whole like dying and then going back like 10 minutes and then having to go back and get your stuff and all the enemies respawn every time. Very punishing sort of gameplay, which is kind of what I expected. I've heard a lot about the Souls games and Elden Ring. It's very punishing. So I'm not really surprised by it. It's just a little bit jarring because I've never really played Souls-like game before. But here we are. Killing things is very satisfying. Getting like big heavy blows. I'll definitely come back to the game at some point in the future for at least at least another episode or two. I don't know how um, what the reception will be like if anyone's interested in watching it or I just kind of wanted to test the game out. I was going to play it anyway whether it was uh, on camera for a video or not so I just thought may as well record it. First time experience playing a Souls game. So if people seem to be interested in it I'll uh, keep going and I will try my best to get through the game or not maybe I don't know through the whole game see how hard, it, how hard it is but that is all for now for Elden Ring so thank you for watching if you uh sat through the whole video congratulations you've made it to the end if you liked it give it a like leave a comment uh tell me what you thought tell me what I'm doing wrong I'm sure there's plenty of things I'm doing wrong but you know what that's the beauty of it I'm gonna do things wrong I'm gonna do things the way that I think they should be done and that's probably going to get killed a lot, but that's just how I play the game. I will see you in the next uh, Elden Ring video, where hopefully I can make it past the first level or stage or area, whatever they're called in Elden Ring. For all I know, I've already skipped past like 30 things that I need to have done before going to wherever I, I just tried to get to where those dogs were. I don't know. Was I meant to run past that thing? Was I meant to kill it? I got no clue, but I'm just going with the flow. But anyway, that's all for now. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.